Hello, Paul Pluto on the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluto channel. And today, fuckers, I want to talk about the battle of the three and a half thousand US dollar sports watches. Now, let's be completely truthful here, okay? Let's be completely truthful. Wrist watches are fucking expensive. They are dear little fuckers. Expensive, dear little fuckeroonies. They are dear fuckeroonies. <clears throat> Most men out there, you got to get a decent watch. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? So you start off, you get a fucking tag whore. You get a tag horror. And then, then the penny drops. You go onto the forums. You realize you need a proper watch. You go and watch shitty channels. And eventually, Archie Luxury comes up. And you think, ah, Archie says you need to get a decent watch. Every man needs one. <coughs> so let's talk about budget. We already know buying new is not a good idea. We want bang per buck. Bang per buck. We're in a fucking post-recessionary economy. Things are fucking tough. we got to buy second hand. And we are going to... We are going to, fuckers. We are going to... We're gonna buy second hand. We're gonna buy second hand. And I want to go through this journey, this journey of discovery and personal fucking development. Now, let's start this journey. Let's start this journey. We'll, <coughs> we'll invent a character called Chad. Chad. Chad is an American. He's proud to be an American. At least I know I'm free. Da, 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 da. So Chad, what does Chad get? He graduates college and he gets an Iris, 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 typical American dipster. He gets an Iris, an Iris, something in titanium, something big. Fuck off. Get the fuck away from me, you know. And <clears throat> he thinks he's so important with his Iris on his fucking wrist. Then he realizes he realizes that he's made a mistake. He's realized he's made a mistake. And, <clears throat> you know, you've got to say to yourself, Chad, what the fuck? What the fuck did you buy that for? Why did you buy it? And the real answer was because it was <clears throat> big, it was Swiss, and it was affordable. And then you got to say to yourself, well, what does Chad want? So Chad then wants something big and monstrous. He wants a big brightly. But then Chad stops. Hang on a minute, Chad. Let's back the truck up. We want value. So let's get a budget. Chad works his fucking ringer off. And then da -da -da -da, we can buy a decent watch. Chad does a bit of saving, puts a bit on a credit card. He's got a budget of about $3,500. $3,500. That's about the max. Any more, <clears throat> he's going to get into trouble. Any less, he's going to get a fucking shitter. A fucking shitter. So, we've got to say, okay, Chad, what do we get? What do we get for $3,500? $3,500, Chad, US. <coughs> ah! Three, five. What do we fucking get for Chad? What the fuck do we buy? What the fuck do we buy? And we've got two great ideas. The first thing is Chad thinks he's intelligent. He's doing an engineering course. An IWC engineer. Ah, what do you think, Chad? What do you fucking think, Chad? An IWC engineer. Well, these can be had for about three and a half thousand, four thousand US, three to four thousand US fuckeroonies. 
IWC and Chad doesn't want no ETA shitter. He wants the he wants the in-house movement. This has got the 80110 movement, which does not have any interchangeable parts with a value 7750. The 60. That's right, the 60 is the manual wine version of the 7750. There we go, fuckers. So that's choice A. The next thing Chad could get, if Chad, you know, really... Rolex! Rolex Explorer 2. Explorer 2. This is the Polar! Polar Explorer 2. So, what do you buy, Chaddy? What do you buy? And, uh... This is a very interesting discussion because <coughs> these are both beautiful watches. Do we go for the green Rolex? Rolex. We have an Explorer 2. A, this is the bang per buck sports model. Amazing bang per buck. Amazing bang per buck. 40 mil. It's got the solid end links. It's not rattle fucking steak. This is the good one. You know, this is a really nice piece. 4,000 US fuckeroonies! Fuckeroonies! Or do we go for an IWC? IWC, fuckers. IWC. It's bigger. This is 42 mil. It, as the Explorer, is 40. Okay, a little bit smaller. It's big and chunky, just like... Ch Chad's girth, look at that. Big fuck off. It's also got anti-magnetic protection. It's encased. I made a mistake. It's not an iron case. It's, it's not a lead case. It's just iron. Okay, I made a fucking mistake. Sorry, sorry, fuckers. So, what do you get? Do you get the IWC or the Explorer 2? Which one is the better piece? And that is a very good question because one is Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. But the Rolex is a little bit boring. Let's compare the two. It's the Explorer 2. That's the doggy sports watch. 40 mil as opposed to 42.5. That's bigger, hefty, heftier, chunkier fuckers, heftier and chunkier. You tell me which one you go for. And I, I gotta say, I really think the IWC, the finish is like an AP. The finish is AP. The only fucking problem with the IWC is that I've always said this, they aren't really good value. They aren't really good value. I mean, IWC's truth in advertising is a bit like Volkswagen. A bit like Volkswagen. The base plate is based on a Valju 7750. Base plate! Base plate! Base plate! Now, does that mean they buy the movement from ETA? They've IWC has officially said it's an in-house. I don't fucking know the truth. Does it matter? Well... <clears throat> yes and no, but... <coughs> comparing the two... This is almost AP quality, but the movement disappointment brings it down. This is a Rolex! Rolex, 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 Rolex. So, three and a half thousand fuckeroonies. Which way would you go? Which way would you go? I mean, I, I gotta tell you, I've been wearing the IWC, and I love it. I love it. I love my Explorer 2. I love me Polar. Love me Polar. I love my IWC. Which one would I go for? I think they're both cool. They're both very cool. Probably the IWC is a little bit more schlick. You know, it's got on the dial there, it says Schaffenhausen. Schaffen, Schaffenhausen. You know, that sounds really German. You know. It's really cool. It's a really cool watch. Which way would you go? 
I think for three and a half, these are both pretty good pieces. The fact that I can't say one way or the other. I mean, <clears throat> let's look at the pros and cons. Rolex Explorer 2 is a Rolex. Great bang per buck. It's waterproof. It's a GMT watch. It's this model here. has got the solid end link, super loom. It's very, very, you know, they're, they're, at, they're buying at the bottom of the market. At the moment, the Explorer 2 is soft. It's turned to dog shit. Buy low, sell high. Peak buying, great piece. You never really lose your money on a Rolex. Your money will be safe. Three and a half, three to four thousand dollars. Can you go wrong with a Rolex? The IWC? Well, it is super, super cool. It's the same sort of coolness like a, a Patek Nautilus or an AP Royal Oak. The downside is it's got that fucking, those cunts at IWC. <coughs> Did they use a base plate from ETA? What the fuck is the truth with these IWC cunters? What is the fucking truth with these cunts? I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. I mean, IWC's always been overpriced. They've never been great bang per buck. Not really good bang per buck. The bracelet's beautiful. You've got a special, the bracelet's got special holes. You push that in and the, you can push the pin through. It's really ingenious, over-engineered. But why didn't the cunts do anything about that fucking ETA movement? That's the thing that fucking irritates me to the end. Which way would I go? I'd probably, I'd probably go Rolex. Probably go Rolex, but I love the Ingenuity. It is so fucking cool. It is a cool watch. It's very cool. Very, very cool. They're both cool. So, <clears throat> three and a half thousand combo deal. Which would you choose? And uh, that's a really interesting point. I got to tell you, I got to tell you, I think, <clears throat> I think, I think, I mean, comparing the two, let's compare the two. What is cooler? The IWC is fucking cooler. It is way cooler. It's got that Gillichet black dial, which looks blue because of the anti-glare coating on the glass. <coughs> Super thick. It's got the, the anti-magnetic protection for the movement. It's got the, yes, it might be a fucking ETA base plate, but it's got the pendulum winding system. It's a proprietary winding system for, e for IWC. IWC is a really cool brand. I mean, that's, in my opinion, I think IWC has always been a bit above Rolex. Rolex is kind of boring. IWC is chic German fuckers. Like the guys in Die Hard, you know that first Die Hard. Yippee yay yay, motherfucker! He'd be the sort of cunt who'd wear an IWC. <coughs> That's the kind of German Germans who would wear IWC. So, in all honesty to you, I would say the brain, the brain, <clears throat> the brain goes with Rolex, the heart, if you've owned a few of these things, I can fucking, I'm starting to get the IWC coolness. Which piece <clears throat> would be a better investment down the track? Well, I don't think you're paying a lot of money for either piece. Three and a half US budget. They're both a nice watch. Um... Both very different, very, very different. I, I think, I think um, the IWC is much cooler. It's a cooler watch, okay? I got to give it to IWC. They are fucking cool. <coughs> it's very cool. The Rolex, the Rolex is a Rolex, man. It's Rolex. It's Rolex. I mean, it's Rolex. So... I gotta really say, you know, in all honesty there, I would, I, I would honestly, you know, if, if, if I could only have one, I don't think you could go wrong with either choice. I'd probably go IWC. I think it's a cooler piece. 
for cooler people. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's 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 my opinion. What's a better investment? Well, I, I think the probably the Rolex would be easier to sell, and and the Explorer Two must go up. Come on, they must go up. But they're both fucking cool. They're both gorgeous watches. And that's what I love. I love the watches. <clears throat> if I had a choice, just one. Which one would you leave with? Probably the IWC. Even though the ETA movement thing really pisses me off. It really shits me. I think it's cooler. I do think it's cool. It's a really fucking... I just love this watch. I, I've got this watch and I just love it on my wrist. It's just cool. I, I, I love it. I love the IWC. There you go, fuckers. I'm a total convert. I've come into the fold. I love IWC. ETA or non-ETA, I don't care. I love me IWC. Fuckers!